Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in the day with Windows 8, Microsoft introduced Microsoft People, which basically was an app where you could check your social network and contacts from one app, which wasn't a very well-liked app. I personally um, never used it. Uh, it was one of the first apps to be removed from any of my Windows devices when it was still around. And according to Walking Cat over on X, it seems now that Microsoft is wanting to uh, reintroduce the People app in kind of a rebranded and reworked format. And and Walking Cat has provided a download link, which I'll leave um, down below in the description if you want to try out the new app, which I have already uh, downloaded just the setup executable, which if we just have a look at that size, it's just over 2 megs, so it's 2.59 megabytes on my system, which means it's not very big, so it's most probably going to be a web-based or web-wrapped um, app, so basically a PWA, a progressive web app. And although I have downloaded the executable, which you can do as well, because I'll leave that in the description as mentioned. At this stage, though, you can only use the app if you are a Microsoft 365 customer with a work or school account, which I'm not. I've got a personal account. So unfortunately, um, I won't be able to show you the actual app in real time, but I can show you some images just to give you a general idea if you if this is something you would be interested in now just to dive a little bit deeper um currently there is a little bit of confusion um with the app because when you first run the executable uh, it shows you the microsoft 365 companion icon okay which is this icon as you may well know and after it starts, the app shows up as People Preview, which is the, this is the icon for the, the, the app, the, the People Preview, as mentioned. And then obviously, if you, there's just a screenshot of the app where you can just sign in if you have a work or school account, as mentioned. So why would Microsoft think of um, restoring or reviving the People app? Um, a possible reason is because um, as mentioned, People was deprecated f when Windows 11 rolled out. But you could still access it um, in the Mail and Calendar app. But as you may well know, as we have been talking about on the channel, the new Outlook replaced and is replacing Mail and Calendar. And it doesn't have a tool to manage your contacts. So this is a good reason why Microsoft could be wanting to reintroduce a so-called new People app to kind of fill in that requirement which now isn't met in the new outlook which is now becoming the default email client for windows 10 and windows 11 as we have been discussing on the channel so what this means at the end of the day basically is you'll be able to sync and create meetings from the people from microsoft people like you could back in the day and there's also a possibility that you might also be able to call contacts using microsoft teams or see files you shared with a contact, um, just like you could do when the app was around in Windows 8 and also with Windows 10. But I'm keeping my ear to the ground with this, and uh, I'll post if I get any more info, because it's still quite early days. But as mentioned, if you want to try out um, the app, the executable, the setup file, a link will be in the description below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.